video goes with uh, my latest blog post, which is about the Found Poem Generator, and I'm just going to run you through the code that uh, shows you how I put the large screen output onto the program. So here we are, this is the, uh, the main program, and all of this code is in the Dropbox link that's attached to the blog post if you want to take a look yourself in Python, of course. So the, the bit that I was working on um, that this video accompanies is the, uh, the TK Inter, the outputting onto a large screen, a large graphical screen. Because at the moment, as you recall from the last video, the, um, all the output appears in the console in the console window over here. Uh, so it still does that, but it also output it onto a large graphical screen for us as well. So uh, in order to use TK Inter, the first thing I had to do was to include the library. Um, TK Inter is supplied with Python, so uh, that was kind of a bonus because it means that I didn't have to download and install anything. I could just call it um, and use it. And we now, if you're familiar with the program, uh, we've got certain sections here. We've got the uh, the data. The data's in a particular format. So this is, um, at the moment, it's uh, either hand-typed or uh, what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet to hold it. So what I can do is I can copy and paste it into the code in the right format. So what I do is I, I've got my found um, phrases, my uh, and then for each found phrase, I then have the word count and the syllable count. So the uh, the found phrases are being used for uh, just for the general poems. If you want a five line poem, it will pick five lines from the data and it will use it. Uh, and the syllable count is being used for the haiku at the moment. So uh, as well as looking for a line, it will look for the uh, for the requisite number of syllables as well. Um, one of the next jobs on the list is to convert this so the so the data is not actually held in the program anymore, but it's um, pulled in from a from a text file or a CSV file at, uh, when the program loads up for the first time, which will make it a, a lot more extendable uh, when it goes out in the wild. So moving down, we have some definitions. So I had to change around a couple of the definitions because when I started working on outputting the haiku to the large screen, I found that um, the way that I'd written it, um, which was the output by syllable, what that does is um, it gets gets cooled three times, as we can see down here. So when, when we ask the program to generate a haiku, it uh, generates, it uses this function to generate the first line, and then the second line of seven syllables, and then the third line back to five syllables. So it's actually cooling this piece of code three times, which means that um, the method that I'd use for the standard poem, which is here, so the standard poem outputs the phrases one by one onto the console. Um, and so what I could do is I could just get it to build the um, build the, the output for the graphical screen in the same way and then just output it at the end. Uh, that wasn't working for the haiku method because the, the haiku one gets called three times so I was only ever getting three copies of the last line all the time which wasn't great so I had to uh, rejig the methodology slightly and uh, um, build the output uh, within the cooling function and because I'm building the output within the cooling function that then meant I had to to get the, the function that I was calling to return a return um, piece of data. So I call the the function, it finds the right line for me, outputs it onto the console, and then returns it to the calling function, where I can then build up the poem line by line into a variable, and then finally output it at the end. So down here we have uh, the code that I pretty much copied and pasted from the uh, from the internet link that's uh, on the blog post. This is how we initialize and create the full screen window. There's a couple of a few extra lines here, which uh, are what is supposed to work around some kind. There's some kind of bug on the, the Mac version of this where it, um, the screen doesn't get focus when you when you run it. So these lines here um, are supposed to work around that. They, they don't seem to work brilliantly well, um, consistently well, but um, 
when this gets converted finally over to a Raspberry Pi running on Linux, then hopefully that problem should disappear. Uh, this is our text output, Heli Hel Helvetica in 60 point, and then the main loop of the program again. So the main loop of the program is um, a lot of it's the same, asks for a little menu system that prints out uh, what you want to do, and you type in what you want to do, and then it, uh, it calls the appropriate function, um, which then generates all the data and then returns back to the start again, back to the menu, ready for the uh, for the next command. So let's uh, let's run it, and we can have a look down here, same as before. Welcome to the poem generator. So. Um, Let's do a five line poem. And there we go, the screen pops up. The dead brown leaves, this waiting place. Short stories are the best. We're all ready to leave this place. How do you start again? Um, so then what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to click on the screen and it's supposed to close, uh, but it doesn't. So. Alt and tab back to the code. Now I know that it's supposed to do that because that's what it says in the code just here. It says root bind button one is supposed to destroy this the screen. Uh, it doesn't, but who knows whether that's just the, the way that I've done it or whether that's a, another one of those Mac problems. I'm not overly concerned with that at the moment. Um, again, because when this goes out in the wild, um, it it won't have user interaction like that, or I won't certainly won't want the, the screen to be closed whenever somebody clicks on it. So I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. So we can come back down to the console and let's see what happens if we do a haiku. Aha, it breaks. And I guess that's because I've destroyed the window. <laughs>